What's up, YouTube? I guess I'm gonna cook something different for y'all today. Y'all stay tuned. All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today I'm doing something different. I'm doing uh, paella, but I'm putting my own little twist on it. Uh, it's by no means the authentic paella um, with the seafood and you know from Spain and the Spanish paella. So it's basically my type of paella. So y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all for watching. All right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So. Uh, we're going to get started on this paella. So, I'm going to have like two things going on right now at one time. I'm going to have the chicken cooking over here. Uh, I, I'm going to have this on to, uh, medium heat. And I'm going to have this also on medium heat. And I'll have the sausage, the turkey sausage cooking here. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I'm, I need to, but mainly I'm going to be working in this one pot. You know, it's going to be a one pot type of dish. So we're going to work here. So, yeah. You work with what you got. So, I, didn't, I don't really have a cutting board. So, well, I don't have a cutting board. So I'm going to grab my sausages and, you know, toss them in there. By no means am I trying to be neat about this. You know, I'm just trying to get it all together. Okay. All right, once again, we got our chicken here, and uh, I got it cut up into cubes again also, just like I did on my last recipe. It just makes it easier uh, to cook like this. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use some of the same uh, seasons that I, that I used last time, you know, just because I, I like these seasons as my base. So I have my onion powder right here. I have my garlic powder right here. And now I am going to add some cayenne pepper. And also some paprika. So this dish is a, a little different. You see I got my sauces cooking right here. Uh, I'm not really going to go too healthy on this one. So uh, what I do have some extra virgin olive oil here. So we put that there. No, even though this is a nonstick skillet, I just want it to uh, be able to be, you know, uh, come off well and cook with that. So I'm going to let that warm up. Again, this is on uh, medium heat. This is also on medium heat. So I'm flipping these over, you know, moving them around. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. My chicken is still cooking. I got this turned down to low. And what I'm going to do, uh, add to the sausage, I got a uh, half a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm going to add to that. Chicken's almost done, and we're gonna just start throwing everything together into the pot. All right, multitasking at its best. All right, so I got uh, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, and some onions. I'm gonna toss in with the sausage. Allow that to get back to heat. I got the chicken that's done here. I'm gonna add that to the pot. Throw that to the side. Right, I'm gonna make a little space in the pot because um, I'm gonna add some olive oil and then uh, I'm gonna add my rice. Now this is four cups of basmati rice. I didn't couldn't find any uh, paella rice or um, any type of 
like small, I mean short grain rice. So I'll just go with what I get, what I got, you know. So I'm gonna spread this around, get it evenly corp incorporated, you know, everywhere. Because what we're gonna need, we're gonna need the uh, to rice to get a little crispy at the bottom. Because that's kind of, you know, we're gonna stick to that part of the paella. You know, you gotta you gotta have some, otherwise it'd just be some uh, zambalaya or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> some type of rice dish. So, you know, we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to work that down to the bottom. You know, to get it a little crispy at the bottom, and uh, we're gonna add in add in a cup of um, chicken broth. Tomatoes, our diced tomatoes. Add that in. I told you that it's all one pot kind of deal. It's one pot. Anybody can do this. Last but not least, we're gonna uh, add. We have our shrimp here. I just got some small shrimp. It was frozen, um, so I thawed it out. Added some cilantro to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, sea salt. And then a little bit of lemon juice. As y'all know, I kind of, uh, I really don't stick with the salt much, you know. Um, you know, all that sodium, I try to stay away from it. So we're going to add this to our pot of goodness. <laughs> I'm going to... Stir that in. You hear it's kind of getting there to that point at the bottom. Now what we do is we don't we don't cover it. We're gonna uh, leave it uncovered because what we want we want all of that that juice from everything from you know we want the broth to soak into the rice and we want all the excess juice to evaporate out and we want to get a crispy bottom at the bottom of this uh, paella. Now the cooking process isn't long at all. Uh, what I do is, you know, to ensure that, you know, that the heat is high enough that it is evaporating. You know, I move it around. What I'm going to do right now, I mean, I, I feel like it needs a little more seasoning. You know, you taste it, you know. So, I'm going to add some Tony Satry's Creole seasoning. I'm not going to add much. Like I said, the sodium intake for me is, you know, now nah, what's up? <laughs> You know, I try not to do too, too much, you know, because it's already enough sodium in, you know, the uh, sausages that are in here and all that yin yang. So, I'm going to shake that around, you know, flatten that out also again. You know, like I said, we want the bottom to get, you know, a little crispy. So we finally got it where we want it to be. So finished product coming up. We uh, we got the crusted bottom. We good. Nice flavor. We good. <laughs> and there we have it. Put a little cilantro on there for garnish and to eat out. So <laughs> and uh, we good. So thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for another recipe. Alright, y'all have a good night.